Today is a Vlogmas Day 18. I cannot even believe it. You guys, it's like a week before Christmas. That's crazy. All right, so on the agenda today, chocolate covered cherries for sure. Running by the store this morning. Um, I am gonna find chocolate discs to make the chocolate covered cherries because that will go better than using chocolate chips. And I pick up Brooke from school and then pick up Ash from school because it is finals week, so they have a little part day of school. Fill my car with gas, all that fun stuff. And then I will come home and we will make the cherries. And I think we have the, um, I think my husband said that the guy that does our internet is coming to try and adjust the speed or something like that. So that is our day in a nutshell. And you know, I just had one of those moments where, I'm trying to find any kind of light in here. Do you ever just look at your children and think, God, what did I do to deserve such awesome little people? I have those moments quite often. And I just wanted to shout it out to the world that I'm just so blessed. Of course, when I've had absolutely no sleep, I have those moments also where I say, God, I'm not as strong as you think I am. <laughs> I don't know what you were thinking. But 99.9% .9 of the time, I look at them in just awe of their beauty inside and out. And just how amazing they are. And I imagine all the wonderful great things they're going to accomplish. I wonder if I'm alone in that. <laughs> if that's just me being weird or if that is something everybody feels like. All right. I am going to get in my car and head to get gas. And I want to be at Michael's when it opens at 10. Because I don't want to deal with all of that. And I want to just grab chocolate. And then <laughs> i got to be at Brick School at 1030. And then we'll get home about 11. And then... Do a little cleaning before I go get ash at noon. So, I will see you guys after I'm back from getting ash. I have ash. It's actually about 2 o'clock now. I actually took a little bit of a nap. <laughs> it never happens. The house is so quiet. And I was waiting on the guy about 15 minutes. But still, a power nap. Nothing like it. So, I'm going to show you what the girls are doing. And Lucas like and Jake are down in the basement chilling. I'm not going to disturb them. And then we are going to go make some chocolate covered cherries. This one has six ingredients. So, you know, another super simple recipe. Let's see what the girls are doing. They have a very messy room right now. Life of teenage girls. And they're watching. What are y'all watching? Merlin. Uh, Merlin. This is on Netflix, right? Yep. And that's uh, such a good show. So, uh, you guys happy to be out? One more day of finals and that's it? Yeah. Taking a brain break before you study? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, Ash doesn't ever study. No, I'm actually studying. Are you studying for this one? Which one are you nervous about? French or? Biology. You're nervous about biology. Are you worried about any of yours tomorrow, Fern? I just have one. Are you worried about it? It's my easiest one, so. Sorry. Which one is it? Science. Uh, let's see. What happens in here? I bet there's sleeping going on. Oh, yes. Katie's on break. She's playing video games. Okay, shh. Now let's go down. All right, let's go make some fabulous chocolate covered cherries. Now, real quick about this recipe. If, oh, my alarm is going off to go pick up Ash. She's already home. 
um, with this recipe. If you can resist eating them. Um, sorry, I had to turn that off. If you can resist eating them, it's better. Um, they are wonderful. Either way it goes. When you make it today, or the first day you make it, it's going to be more of a cream center. And you know how most chocolate cherries, when you bite into them, they're more of a liquidy, kind of gooey center? That will happen in about two days. So if you make them and just put them in a container and put them away and forget about them for a couple days, then you will get that gooey and more liquid center. So when you bite into it, it all just kind of like oozes out. It's wonderful. <laughs> All right, so these are the ingredients that you need. You're gonna need almond bark or some kind of melting chocolate. So for this, you want to use a melting chocolate and not chocolate chips because they are a little bit more difficult to dip without them tearing apart. So you want a smoother, um, thinner, chocolate which is going to be your discs or your almond bark something like that they're good in white chocolate too you can do that with the white chocolate bark if that's what you find um but chocolate chips are going to be very hard to get a good coat on the chocolate covered cherries so i do not recommend doing chocolate chips with this one all right back to the ingredients you'll need some butter corn syrup Marchino cherries. They need to be the Marchino cherries, not any other kind. Uh, powdered sugar and vanilla. That's it. So let's make chocolate for cherries. Okay, we're gonna start with a half a stick of our butter. So I'm just gonna cut that in half. And then we're going to add our vanilla and our corn syrup, a half a cup of that. I'm going to give that a stir real quick. Kind of cutting the butter in a little bit. Stir that up. Then you're gonna add a box of powdered sugar, but I buy big two pound bags, so I add half a bag of that. And stir that up. Another one you need to get in with your hands and get this. Get it mixed in here. Next, you're going to do your cherries. You're going to strain them and then you're going to put them on a paper towel and you want to just kind of roll them around in another paper towel and try and get them dry best you can because the filling will not stick to them as well if they are wet. So that looks pretty good. Okay, then you want to take a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or wax paper. And this is going to work best if your hands are wet. I like to just run mine under water real quick before I do this. Then you're going to pinch off a little bit of the filling like this. And you're going to wrap it around the cherry like that and roll it up in your hand and put it on the paper. 
and you're going to do that with all of them. Wrap it, road it. This also calls for two jars of cherries for this recipe, which I usually would make two jars, but I am not this time around because I'm not really making to take to a bunch of functions this year. And when it starts to stick to your hands like this, then you just go get them wet again. All right, soon as that is done and you've got them all rolled, you're gonna go on and put them into the freezer. And don't worry that they're kind of spreading out because you'll re-roll them again right before you dip them in the chocolate, but that will firm all of that up, which is what you want. So about 30 minutes into the freezer. All right, so it was about 30 minutes and what I did is I took them out and you saw they were kind of flattening a little bit, so I just rolled them back because now it was a real thick cream. Rolled them back into balls so that it was nice and circular and then put it back in the freezer and now it's been in for another half hour. So sometimes it happens like that. I think it might depend on how warm your house is. Sometimes it's already thick enough. Um, but that's how I did it this time. So if yours are kind of flat, you just let them harden for about a half hour and then they'll be nice and thick. Pull them up, roll them again, put them back in for another 30 minutes. So this is what they look like now. And all you're gonna do is melt your chocolate. I used these and I do three blocks at a time is what I did and put it in my microwave for 60 seconds and it turned out perfect. So, and what you're using, just follow your directions on your chocolate um, so that you don't burn it. Now, let's dip them into chocolate. All right, so this is what they look like ready to go. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of them off of here. They're sticky, they're hard. Roll it again in my hands. So that they're circular and then dip them into the chocolate just kind of roll it around knock off the excess and get a little swirl on top And you're just gonna do that with all of them. If you're making a humongous batch and they start to get um, soft, too soft to work with, then you're just gonna throw them back in the freezer. And you'll see as they start to harden, some of them like this get a little bit of the white come out. That is okay because with these, I like to double dip them because you want to keep all of that goodness um, inside so that it can turn into that liquid. So you don't want any holes poking through. So I will go through all of this one time and then I will do it a second time. Okay, and like I said, you can see all the white coming out of there. So I'm just gonna move all of those down here so that I can re-dip them. Then you're just gonna take it and just do it all over again. And drop it on, and give it a swirl. Okay, and then if you're wanting it to be more professional, this is what I do is I just take a sharp knife and I go along the bottom 
of each one so that they look like that. A perfect little candy and then they fit perfectly into the little wrappers. So I just kind of always go along the bottom. Just like that. And it'll cut just like butter. And sometimes one will snap when you do it and then all the kids stand around and wait to get it. That's it. That's pretty perfect, a chocolate covered cherry. And then if you're wanting to see the inside, what it looks like on the inside is that. And that will all turn to a beautiful liquid. Okay, so there you have it, chocolate covered cherries. I hope you guys give this recipe a try and yeah, that's, I think, it. Tomorrow happens to be my birthday, so I am not going to be making any candy. Um, we are going to go to somewhere called Pyramid Hill and see all the pretty lights, and we're going to have a little celebration. My mother's getting cake and stuff like that. So I will film that, and I'll let you guys know how old I am. <laughs> but that will be tomorrow so it will just be a vlog and then i have not decided yet or not if i am done making candy or if i will make one more because it's highly requested and everybody really wants me to <laughs> make my turtles i make my own caramel and everything um not sure if i'm going to fit that in or not but if i do that will probably happen on thursday and I, of course, will show you guys how I make those if that is what I end up doing. So that wraps up tonight. I hope everybody is having a fabulous time. It is a week before Christmas, guys. I hope you're done with your shopping. I finished, I'm pretty sure, this morning. <laughs> I'm sure I'll think of something else I need. And like I said, very disorganized person I am, but uh yeah that's it all right <laughs> i'm rambling bye everybody i'll see you tomorrow